Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God the glory. Let God be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please find me like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory above Father. <clears throat> Glory to Jesus. Child of God, stay steady and stay focused. Yeah. In other words, I would say stay ready, stay focused, you know, and stay steady. Glory to Jesus. Because that trial that is tempting your salvation, there is a blessing in it. You know, every trial has an expiring date. Every challenge has an expiring date. And that challenge that you are faced with, child of God, it is about to expire. It is about to expire. You are closer than you think. You are closer than you think. That is why you see, it seems as if the trial becomes so heavy because the enemy is looking for a way for you to relent. So when you relent, before you come back, it's as if you want to start again. Hallelujah. May you not give up at the verge of your breakthrough. May you not give up at the verge of your celebration. May you not give up at the verge of your victory. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Yes, child of God, that, that trial that you have been faced with, there is a blessing in it. And every trial, I repeat, has an aspiring date. Every trial has an aspiring date. All the trial that Jesus was faced with, he has an aspiring date. And when that day came, he, the trial expired and nothing could stop him from resurrecting. Hallelujah. The trial that Sarah was faced with, has an expiring date. The trial that Job was faced with has an expiring date. The one Joseph faced, the one Hama, the one, the one, the one Hannah faced, the one Mordecai. How many can you count? The woman with the issue of blood, the man at the gates, the woman at the way, all of that, you know, all these people that the Bible told us about their problem, you will realize that all that problem, it ended in blessing. So this is a message of the Lord unto somebody that that trial that you are faced with right now, hear me, it has an expiring date. I repeat this word. I don't know why I'm hearing it so strongly. The Lord says, stay ready, stay focused and stay steady. You understand? Stand your ground. Stand your ground. Don't allow the enemy to remove you when you are already at the place of your breakthrough. When you are already at the place, they start bringing different kinds of discouragement. The Bible says, blessed is the man who remains steadfast. Blessed is the man who remains steadfast on that trial. He said, for when, hallelujah, for when that man, for when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who loved him. Hallelujah. Blessed is the man who remains steadfast on that trial. So that is why I hear the word steady. That is why I hear the word steady. Hallelujah. That is why I hear the word steady. Glory to Jesus. Somebody hear me very well. <clears throat> hear me very well, child of God. God is bringing your blessing from that trial that you are faced with you will receive blessing from that trial all of that don't lose hope don't lose faith this is how you can remain steadfast because if you want to look at the challenges you might lose focus this is how you will be able not to lose focus let me just give you an a little coaching on how you <clears throat> you will not lose Focus, how you can stay steady, how you can stay ready, even in the midst of trial. That is, even you, you just tell yourself and say, well, I received this thing. I did not receive it. I am going to serve God. I am going to be consistent in all that I have been doing for the Lord and in all that I have been doing as a child of God. You understand? You are like this thing that I'm praying for. I know it will manifest. I don't know when. But before it manifests, I am going to remain steadfast. I am going to remain with the Lord. I am going to remain <clears throat> that same child of God 
that I have been all these years. You know, the enemy have a way they used to tempt us. They are like, ah, look at, you have been praying for this now. Did it happen? <laughs> and you start saying, ah, it's God. Maybe God does not want me. Maybe God does not love me. Who told you God does not love you? God loves you. God loves you. Do you know how much is oxygen in the hospital that we have for free? You know, there are people who are just praying to the Lord, say, God, allow me to just see outside from that hospital bed. God loves you. We have the privilege. There are people who don't even have the privilege to use social media. They can't afford it. So God loves us. The little thing that we, that we don't realize are blessings. They are blessings. So if God preserve you to this very day, it means that he has a purpose for your life. In the midst of that trial, there is a blessing in it. The Bible says, Bless is the man. Bless is the man who remains steadfast. Hallelujah. That man that remains steadfast. <clears throat> Glory to Jesus. Romans chapter 5, verse 3. The Bible says, And not only so, but we glory in tribulation also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience. And patient experience, and experience hope, and hope maketh no shame, because the love of God is shed abroad in our heart by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. There is a blessing for you in that trial, child of God. Stay focused, stay ready, and stay steady. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.